Mm, actually, I've been smoking weed since. But as for the drug, at day, what age? We started smoking weed. I should say, let me say, 15. I was at the age of 15. Yes. I don't touch you. Nobody thought me. I see people doing it. I feel it's so half of my mind problem. But it just make me feel happy, even <laughs> when I'm hungry. And within two hours. School. As for my father, then I've been without him. So ever your since. mom has. Does she know that you are in Kumasi? My mom, mm, no, I'm in Ghana. Yeah. I smoke rock and tie. Rock and tie. That's the cooking. Yes. And when I go to think and I saw people doing it. Now I like to stop it because I'm even fed up. <laughs> The work I met was not what I thought it was. It's also a prostitution. But me, I ran away from my madam's place at Obwasi. In Lagos, I used to hear about Kumasi. I learned there are so many Nigerian places here. So I decided to go to one. A taxi man took me to Edum. On getting there, it was a hotel too. I tried to stay there for days and I can't cope because every day, 50 cities. And it's, it's not that there are too many men or too mm -hmm. many Ahead. So I can't cope. I left there. And one thing in this place, accommodation is not easy. So on leaving there, I had to just go like on streets. There's a place they call railways. Being there, I from there get some guys who took me to Tinka. They knew I was just in the street and I needed a place to sleep. I stay in Tinka. <laughs> Awofo <laughs> Make sure to be taking screenshots of Nipa Chrono. Now you won't say, I assume it's an answer to me, it's not a person already. Oh, boy, no, oh, friends, who are number nine, go out in the OPBR. Yeah, be a man. Come on, you couldn't come. Yes, dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Why? It seems like you are worried, or are you feeling cold? <laughs> Somehow. How are you? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Blessing. 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 Okay, where do you come from? I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, what, what about your parents? They are all there. They are all from Nigeria, which means yeah. you are like a Nigerian by as a citizen. Oh, citizen. Uh, yeah. You are a Nigerian as it's, citizen? It's, yes. Oh, yes. okay. Then how old are you? I'm 25. 25 years. How many siblings do you have? Hmm. As for that, the... I don't know. Okay. You don't know the total children of your mom? Mm, not that. Mm. Only me. Oh, okay. Mm. You are the only child. Yes. Ah, why? Well, it, it seems you are worried yeah. about that. <laughs> oh, then sorry. You don't have any, let me say, kids, sis, or senior brother, or whatever. Ah, then have you been, have you been in school before? Mm, I just stopped at my secondary school. Okay, you completed mm, SHS? Yes. You didn't continue? Mm. Why? Mm, because no money for my mom to further my education. Oh. And she asked her senior sister to help. Mm -hmm. But then that one took me for work instead. Mm-hmm. For a shop. So she... Not my mom even don't know her sister didn't even send me to school. Ah why are they not staying at the same area? No, my mom is in Lagos and my mom's sister is in Plateau State. So wait, did you go to her as like you are going for school? Yes. And your mom at to date she knew you went to school? Mm, in her sister place. Yes. Mm. But not knowing I didn't her sister didn't take me why? to school. Why? And because her uh, sister have something different in mind because mm -hmm. she has a beer parlor. Mm -hmm. She used me to work there instead. Which kind of work? As a sales girl. Oh, okay, it's a shop. Mm, yes. So you were a sales girl there. Yes. Which year was that? That was about 
2011-2012 before I traveled to Libya 2013. And at that time, what was your age? I was very young then. I was at I was 13, 14. Then how did you go to Libya too? When I went to Libya, because I I left there and I became wild at once. Why was your auntie maltreating you? Yes, I ran away from Like her. how? What was the petty petty thing she used to do to you? Like, I have some mark in my hand here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this mark. Yes. What was that? She actually plugged iron and used it to burn me. What did you do? Saying she sent me and I stayed long there. She was maltreating me, so that's the reason why I run to, back to Lagos, to my mom's mm -hmm. place. Then from there, I became wild, I met friends, then I went to Libya. Why? When you came back to your mom, were things not going on well? Yes. Why? My mom was, even no house for her to stay, she was having, I don't know, accommodation problem. Okay, we just start having a conversation, but through your conversation, you are just like, my mom, my mom, my mom, where is your dad? Uh, is he alive? He's alive, but I I don't know him, Crown. Like how? My mom only told me about him. D didn't they get married? Mm -mm. And you don't know your dad? Mm. Do you know his name? I don't know anything about it. Ah, then have you tried questioning your mom seriously? Or you were just joking with her? Because you have to be serious about that. Hmm. Have I you questioned her before? Several times. And what did she say? She said they just fell apart. At party? They fell apart. They fell apart? Ah. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. And are you okay with that? Well, maybe I am a lady. I didn't bother, cause asking her too much questions caused a lot of problem for me not to see her and choose to go to Libya. And I stayed over about three years there. How did you go to Libya? And did you know anyone there? No, I, I met friends. In, when I came back from my auntie's place, mm -hmm. I met some group of friends in mm -hmm. the club. So mm -hmm. they were the ones who I followed to Libya. And what did you go and do there? Mm, although the lady who took me there actually said for a walk, but went there for hustling. Like, Mm, let me say, as a prostitution, uh, um, for how long? Although me, I after I pay her my money one year, then I left her. Why were you owing her? Yes, because she, I paid for the transport fare. And it took you one year to pay to finish paying for the transportation. Why? Because the money was much. From Lagos to Libya. Yes. No, the money she she in charged you rather. Yes, was more. Okay, then it's not about the, the transportation, but she charged you yes. to pay a certain amount. Yes. Within a year. Yes. And you're able to pay. Yes. After that, I think you will have be on your own. Yeah. Then why did you come back? Mm, because still things still were not seems seems not to still be okay. So, did you come back to Lagos away? Mm, yeah, I came back to Lagos with some small amount of money mm -hmm. for my mom and to try to set up some things for myself. I actually sell clothes okay. for folks. At, the, uh, at Lagos? Yes, Lagos. That was then? Mm, like now, before coming to Ghana. Yeah. And I was trying for myself. Mm. Things I wasn't okay, so and I got some f 
friends who say there's a place in Ghana, this work, and so I decided to join. Mm -hmm. What work did, it, did they tell you? Yeah, they say any work, anything I like to do. There's business, there's sales girl work. So since when did you come to Ghana? Mm, I should say one year plus now. One year plus. And what work are you doing? As for now, the, I don't have any work to do now. Why? I think those who informed you about the work came here with you, right? Or you came to them? I came to them. And what are they saying now? The work I met was not what I thought it was. What work was? Did you come and meet you? It's also a prostitution. But me, I ran away from my madam's place at Obwasi. Oh, okay. So you came to Obwasi? Yes. And they were trying to... They said sales girl and whatever, whatever. But you came and it was prostitution. Yes. So you ran. Yeah. And came to a Kumasi here. Yes. And who, who showed you Kumasi? Nobody. In Lagos, I used to hear about Kumasi. Wow, in Lagos, then we are famous. Yeah, very famous. <laughs> so, ah, how was it when your, your first day in Kumasi? How was it? Mm. When it's, you left the place and came here? I, I, I learned there are so many Nigerian places here. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to one. I, a taxi man took me to a doom. Mm -hmm. And getting there, it was a hotel too. Mm -hmm. I tried to stay there for days and I can't cope because every day, 50 cities. Mm -hmm. And it's, there is not that there are too many men or too mm -hmm. many. Mm -hmm. So I can't cope. I left there. Mm -hmm. And one thing in this place, accommodation is not easy. Mm -hmm. So on leaving there, I had to just go like on streets. There's a place they call railways. Mm -hmm. Being there, I from there get some guys who took me to Tinka. What did you tell them when they took you to Tinka? Mm, I didn't tell them anything. They knew I was just in the streets and I needed a place to sleep. So now where do you stay? I stay in Tinka. That's where you sleep? Yes. Is there a room there? No, no room there. But how? I sleep at some corner corner places there. You're attacking right now. It's raining. So how are you going to manage it tonight? Mm, it's not that I'm going to sleep on that rain. Mm -hmm. It's like a shop. Uh -huh. Inside the shop no, or outside? outside the shop. So now that it's raining, I think even there is there will be a little little it's drop true, on the veranda. So this how they did they, they, they use at night before we sleep, they will use some tarpaulin to cover it. <laughs> and where do you bath? Ah, for that I bath every day. There's a shower top there. Uh, you go there and pay yes, and bath. Yes. How do you manage to survive? I mean your food, your drugs, your whatever? Mm, I have a guy that do sponsor me. He's also there? Yes. You also sleep outside? Yes. And what work is he doing? Mm, yeah, according to him, he said he works with scraps. Okay. Scraps works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then when did this weed, this thing start? This weed and drugs thing start? Mm, actually, I've been smoking weed since. But as for the drug... At day, what age? Um, I started smoking weed, I should say, let me say, 15 hours at the age of 15 years. And who taught you? How did you start taking no, weed? Nobody taught me. I see people doing it. You also just feel like doing it. Mm. And first day, how was it? How did you feel that you get addicted? Mm, I feel it solved half of my mind problem. Did it erase your problems? No, but it just make me feel happy, even <laughs> when I'm hungry. And within two hours? It's cold. And you start thinking again? Yes. <laughs> and do you think that one will help? No. Because I think today that the problem is still there. Yes. About your father? <laughs> I think that one disturbed you to any your mom. Mm. That's for my father then. You are forgotten him? 
Yes, but I've been with him. I've, I've been without him. So ever your since. mom has. Does she know that you are in Kumasi? My mom knows I'm in Ghana. Yeah. She knows. And have you been communicating with her? Mm, almost on spots. At least for months now. No. Have you given birth? No. Don't have a baby. No. You have never got married. No. So do you take only weed, or is there anything in addition? Yes. What? I smoke rock and tie. Rock and tie, that's the cocaine? Yes. And who taught you that one too? And when I go to Tinkan, I saw people doing it. Which means that one just came... Recently. Just in Kumasi here? Yes. That you just added that one, which is recently, about a year. No. I like to stop it because I'm even fed up. And is that how, when you came from Lagos, was this the same appearance you came here with? Mm, not that I'm too fat or too... <laughs> but you're not but, that skinny. Mm -hmm, you're not that skinny. Yeah. But at least if you see me, you know I have meat in my body, but now I go down. So now... <laughs> How the drug help you? Did it help you? Not at all. So now what do you want? I want help. Which kind of help? Because I want to know particular the thing you want right now. I want to know what you, you, you need right now so that you stop all this. Just say it to the viewers. Tell them mm, what the, you need. They say they, there's a rehab. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to go if... I need help from them. Uh, so you, hold, you also have Tiki? Yes. You get Tiki? Mm -hmm. When the Tiki is coming, what, what do you observe? What happened to you? Uh, it's not that I go mad, though. I, no, Tiki. Mm, I, like, I, I think you, you understand the Tiki. Uh, they say if you don't get some, your body will be doing some. Like, so I'm asking you, ask for you, what always happened mm, to you when you don't get some? I'm weak. You get weak. Mm. So. Tell them, you said you need their help, so tell them. I need their help mm -hmm. for the rehab. Mm -hmm. if, if they are willing to take me, I, I know I can change. And hey, do you know how the rehab is? I haven't been there before, but I hear about it. Okay. That you can't it go just, out. Yes, and, you won't go out. You won't get even, even a half roll. I don't even need it. But your food is three times daily. Every day, and you even get your petty petty gary and something with you before your food comes. Mm. And you will be going to church, yeah, you will be teaching, preaching, all those things. Mm. As for that, the, the church, I love the church because my mom, she's an evangelist, so the lady who gave birth to me. She's an evangelist? Yes. I don't think she will be happy seeing you being like this. Mm. She's never happy. Your yes. mom knows that you take drugs. She don't know about that. Right now, we are in the modern world. Let me say, today, in case your mom sees this video, she may think you are, you, you are going to somewhere and you are enjoying life and ignoring her. So in case she sees your video somewhere today, what do you have to tell her? Your mom. I love her. Mm -hmm. And... I did not choose this for myself, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I'm letting her to know that mm -hmm. I'm doing all this for her to know that mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, there's a better person in me mm -hmm. for her to see. Okay. So after, after the rehab, do you have anything in mind you want? Maybe a work, or what do you want to do? When you were back in school, what was your vision, or what mm, were you? Did you uh, want to become in future? As an act, act, actress. Oh, okay. Yes, because I love music and films, and I like anything about that. Entertainment. Yes, entertainment. So right now, after let's pray, you get someone who will just come in and come and help you to the rehab. After the rehab. What way do you want to do? Or what do you have on mind that you want to put in practice? Well, 
uh, I said, I know although there's a hard work I have. I know how to bake cake, donuts and egg roll, and like also a party planner. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm so interested. I'm very interested in interested in that one. entertainment side. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Let's pray. Let's pray you get your helper through us. Because the rehab is not a one month or two month thing. Yes. I don't know if you know that one and you can cope with us. And the other thing is we will need one of your family member or your relative mm. so that the person will sign in case we are able to send you to the rehab. Mm. The person will sign to show that to show them that he was in agreement or he or she was in agreement mm. for us to bring mm. him or mm. his daughter to the hospital or to the rehab. You understand? Yes. Yeah, so we have to get one of your family members so that we will go with them and they will sign a bond to be something like in agreement with them for you to, what, to come and stay with them in case of anything. We don't pray for anything, but so that they can contact us or your parents. Or when they contact us, we will contact your parents too. And when it gets to that limit, can you get someone? Yes. In Kumasi here? Yes. Okay. The last pray. Okay. Let's pay you get your but do you, do you have anything, any last word to tell your viewers? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say, crap. But well I, I thank God that there are good people out there who started something like this to help we young youth. Hmm. Because I know if somebody watch my sitting and talking now, at least the person might learn from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying God bless you all and thank you. Okay, we have a, one of our mom, she's from Korea. She's called Malizi. She says she, is, she always feel bad when she hear the story of the ladies. And she also have ladies too as her children. Mm -hmm. So she don't have anything much than this clothes to give it to you guys. Because I can see your, your shirt is stone. <laughs> so she said I should give it to you so that when you go home today, you bath and change. Okay. So if you have anything to you, tell uh, Mama Lizzie. Hello, Mama Lizzie. Thank you very <laughs> much. I appreciate you. God bless you. Okay. Let me for. Then you say, come on, then you are going to fly. Then you know, say, I'm free, you're crummy, you're Nigerian. Nema, I'm a woo, you're a papa. Oh, we saw my mini, yeah, my mini, the old kind of say, or winter mat, or winter mat, my mini trim, the same amount as one name, papa, so I could cross away to say a friend, could you say a friend of Kami, won't name? And also, Kada was saying, Shadow Hannah, because no man in the Nidano so. Or because family didn't call Libya so quiet, Juma. Or say, Juma, or Hordy and the Ordinal Koya, or say, I shall wear Juma, or Koya, and no cheer, Nipane, car, or the Nokoye, one year, and no say, Janet by the crew, or by the crew, or so by Yajma, or Yay on fa. And it will be such a chance a gunner, a juma or a marsh shops any other day. And it was a bad gunner, have you? Or by our could see what was it? Nippana or friend and catch in some ragana, Nippano or was our could see what was it? Or could do was and say, I shall wear you, mana, and a mammy Janney or Janney or by railway son. Railway son or one or be so sorry, and then an answer of the local do it think out. They say, Oh, what makes you think and you saw only in a trampler. Or Honan or the Honan or so. It says, When you take care, why none your money be on trial in maintenance? See, I distrain or dear bar, so strum. Someone born and own to me quarry have nibby. No cobble or so on, son, you do my eye cake in the sun and my bakery is one number. See, I distrain and yes, so. So every video near Kawa Kuma's open so boy, and that's all will be me catch her. Number near trouble, I go as you also for help and all fry, but be see a soupy, and Cassa. Nay, I know I can say your baby, I know I am. Can I say, I subscribe to your channel? Open like your comments, no one shall man your crown.